The appeal of potato salad knows no boundaries. People around the globe have cooked up various versions of this dish over the years. There are so many different recipes, they could fill an entire cookbook. But no matter how you toss it, potato salad is always pure comfort food. Of course, it's all about the potato. At this factory, they use varieties with low water content, so the potato salad doesn't end up soggy. They arrive fresh from the field and funnel out of the truck trailer onto a conveyor for an efficient and gentle unloading. They head up to a washer to clean off the dirt and remove stones and pebbles. The potatoes bounce across rollers covered with a fine grid abrasive. This scrapes off the skins. Once peeled, a worker inspects the white flesh for bruises or other flaws. Then they tumble down a chute towards the dicing machine. It's equipped with these cutting cylinders. The blades are positioned vertically on one, while they're in a horizontal configuration on another. As they revolve in sync, they carve the potatoes into cubes. The blades can be adjusted to cut the cubes larger or smaller, depending on the recipe. Here, they churn out medium chunks for a creamy American-style potato salad. Workers roll trays full of the potato cubes into a big pressure cooker to steam cook for six to 10 minutes. Pressure cooking preserves the nutrients and original flavor of the potatoes. While the potatoes are cooking, they prepare the crunchy component, the celery. The celery sticks first go for a sudsy ride to scrub them clean. Along the way, an inspector sorts out leaves and overripe pieces. They set cutting cylinders to dice more finely than with the potatoes. Out of the washer and thoroughly rinsed, the celery sticks tumble into the dicer and it chops them into small bits. The minced celery exits into a vibrating trough and tosses about in a peroxide solution for a second cleaning. It's an extra precaution because the celery won't be cooked and cooking kills bacteria. After another rinse, the soaked celery lands in a perforated drum that fits into another drum. The colander rotates within the drum to spin dry the celery. The next ingredient is the eggs. They arrive at the factory already hard-boiled and deshelled by the supplier. So all that's left is the slicing and dicing. The egg whites cube nicely. The yolk separates and crumbles completely. With so many yolk crumbs, their flavor will permeate the entire potato salad. They're now ready to combine some of the ingredients. A worker adds finely cut onion to the egg followed by diced red pepper, and then the celery. They weigh the mix with each new ingredient to confirm that the portions are right. Now for the dressing. They pump the ingredients out of big storage tanks. They include vegetable oil, sugar, vinegar, and egg yolks. Whipped into a frothy mayonnaise, the dressing flows into an enormous steel mixing vat. They add the chopped egg and vegetable combination. The now-cooked potato cubes join the other ingredients in the vat. Blades spiral slowly for a gentle mixing to ensure the potato salad doesn't turn to mush. With the salad now ready, suctioning devices set plastic tubs on a track conveyor. Sensors signal their approach to dispenser nozzles and the tubs stop right on cue for a fill-up of creamy potato salad. Suctioning arms then flip the lids onto the tubs, and once sealed, they're on their way. In just 40 minutes, they've manufactured enough potato salad at this factory to feed 500 people. It should be quite a picnic.